This is a weird update because I don't have one of the things to show you because I forgot to film any of it. And when I remembered I hadn't filmed any of me picking it up or anything, I'd actually already got rid of it. But there is a review video and a quick field hunt and a beach hunt, which they were okay. Uh, but we do have something else to go along with it. We've got some uh, coils in here. So the machine I got hold of was a Tesoro Compadre. I, it was up for 80. I managed to get it for 70. I love that machine. Good little machine that. I wish I could have kept it. Uh, I didn't realise it was quite sought after abroad. Because the non-UK version has a hard wired coil. And the UK version, or the European, I don't know. Um, you can take the coil off of the main unit. So yeah, I got it, put it up for sale at a high price, thinking oh, I'll just leave it, get some interest, I can use it, and then uh, when it comes to it, I can reduce the price of it. Uh, but I put it up for sale, and it sold within 12 hours at the inflated price, which is good for me. So yeah, I don't have the compadre to show you, but you will see it soon. Um, in here, we have, let me just check my phone. We've got four coils in here from the same buyer, same seller. Uh, we've got a MyLab Explorer coils they are, and I have an Explorer so I can use them, make some videos with them, because I've never had any of these coils before. So that's quite cool. Um, two were an absolute bargain. Uh, I can't remember the size. One of them is a 12 by 8 coil tech, like a platypus coil, and the other one's a bit bigger, a uh, D-Tech coil. I paid a fiver, fiver for two coils. And they had a five pound postage, and then there is also a I think he said it was brand new Seth coil, which is 12 by 15, and then an unbranded small coil. But then I combined the postage, so I saved the fiver, and those two were 40, 43 pounds. So I think it all comes in at about 52 53 pounds for four coils. So next to nothing, uh, I know one of them. Um, I think it's the outer, uh, the outer casing on the cable has come off, which it seems to on the DTEC coils. Uh, one of mine's done that. But you can wrap it in insulation tape, and then what I will do before I get rid of it, I'll put, um, <coughs> I'll put a coil lead uh, protector on it. Like I do most of my coils, but I'll um, I'll put one on this. Oh, 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 oh. Why has he written the name and address on the inside? <laughs> Never mind. Didn't know that was there. Right, let's get this out. <coughs> Actually, let's put them down here. We get them out one by one. Yep, there's the coil tech coil. I think that's the twelve by eight. I'm not sure why it's got gaffer tape just around there. It looks like it's holding on the coil cover. Um, doesn't feel broken. I'll probably take that off and give it a clean and um, use it without. Well, I'll probably use it with and then I'll take it off when I come to get rid of it. I've used Coiltec coil. I think it's a 15 on my Explorer. I'll put a link in the corner if you want to see that video. They were some good ones. That was in a pasture. Uh, and I may have found a hammer coin with that coil. I can't remember. I think I did, I think it was my first big hammered. Yeah, good times. Yeah, it's been built on that land. So yeah, we've got a small one, which I will take over to Manor, and we'll use it in the woods at the Manor house. So that will be somewhere new, never been in the woods over there before, and I get to use this coil and review this coil. So we've got a coil tech coil. I'm not sure what these are worth. Um, you got to be looking at 40 maybe 40 yeah i go 40 50 bearing in mind that's two pound 50 to me and here's the other half of my two pound and five pound special this is the penetrator e i've got an 18 inch coil um which i think is the next one up from this i'll measure it let's get tape now this one looks like a 15 no it's a 14 14 inch coil, no coil cover, that's not a problem. I mean the actual lead from the, the springy bit 
is fine. I think that the outer skin of the wire has come off down to the uh, reinforcing there, which that's not a problem because this goes up the inside of the Explorer. I'm not sure if the Safari is the same. Rather than coiled round your stem, it goes up the inside, so it's protected anyway. You don't actually need a coil cover on it, saying that. So it makes no difference. Not really. Um, I've used a big one. I used a big one on the beach, it was really good on the beach. Again, I put a link in the corner to the video with the 18. It's very heavy, the 18. So this might be a pleasant change. So, who knows, maybe I'll keep the smaller one and get rid of the bigger one. Probably not, I'll probably get rid of this. Um, again, that's got to be 50, 60 pound. So it's all adding up. That's my bargain pair for our fiver. It's slightly smaller, so what size is this? Nine inch by five, nine by five. I'll probably take this one in the woods as well. We'll take them both in, because I know there's a lot of undergrowth in there. And it'd be good to use the Explorer again. I've not used it for a while. I can't imagine that would go for a lot, maybe 20. Possibly I could push 30, but we'll see, we'll see. So that's the third coil, and then the last one is supposed to be brand new or nearly new. I'm going to say nearly new because I can see a bit of mud on it. Yeah, it's got a bit of dirt on it, but if you looked at the bottom of, I think it was that one, that one is quite scratched. No, it's got hardly any marks on it. And when you give that a good clean, get all the mud off it, give it a coat of WD-40. That will come up like brand spanky new. Yeah, it's got the serial number on it. The lead all looks good. So yeah, that is the Ceph coil, which is size 12 by 15. That's a good size coil. Uh, I'll probably try this one out on the beach. I don't know if I'll keep any of them. Unlikely. I shouldn't really. It's not part of the game, is it? But I am tempted to keep the coil tech one. We we'll see. It will slow me down if I do. But this is where I am so far. I say we had the compadre but it's gone i'll stick a picture up of it um yeah great machine great machine and last time i updated you i had a wireless module i had a pair of them one in here is about to go out the door so i've got my money back on them and a bit more yeah it's getting there ccx 3030 is not out of reach this is going a bit quicker and a bit better than i thought i've managed to keep it detecting related i've still got a bit of money in the pot so I'm on the lookout for a, another machine. I've got a few in my radar, but um, getting rid of that helped, so I can add that in as well. Yeah, so I'm looking at another machine at around £200. And then I've got this lot. And then we're, we're getting there. Right, thank you for watching. Just a quick update, and I will see you in the next video, which will probably be testing some of these out, or a compadre video, which I've already done. There's two of them, so it'll be one of them. So stay tuned if you want to see some more. And if you want to try this out yourself, or you want to try and save up and buy a machine, it doesn't have to be second hand, you can go over to LP, use my discount code, which will get you some money off, um, and just use Hades Detecting at the checkout, and uh, you get some money off, and everyone's a winner. So it doesn't have to be used, you can go and buy a new one with a bit of warranty. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you. Later.